Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about Azure Key Vault. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this AZ303 certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So what is Azure Key Vault? Azure Key Vault is a centralized cloud service for storing application secrets such as encryption keys, certificates, and server-side tokens. And Key Vault helps you control your application secrets by keeping them in a single central location and providing secure access, permissions control, and access logins. And there are three primary concepts used in an Azure Key Vault. Vaults, keys, and secrets. Now let us look into what are the key differentiators of why you should be using Key Vault. First, you can use Key Vaults for secrets management. Azure Key Vault can securely store and tightly control access to tokens, passwords, certificates, API keys, and other secrets. The second use case is key management. And Azure Key Vault is a cloud-based key management solution, making it easier to create and control the encryption keys used to encrypt your data. And Azure services such as App Service integrate directly with Azure Key Vault and can decrypt secrets without knowledge of encryption keys. Another important thing to know is Key Vault is designed to store configuration secrets for server applications. So it's not intended for storing data belonging to your app's users and it shouldn't be used in the client side part of an app. Another reason why people use Azure Key Vault is to manage your certificate. So Azure Key Vault is also a service that lets you easily provision, manage, and deploy public and private SSL and TSL certificates for use with Azure and your internal connected resources. It can also request and renew TLS certificates through partnerships with certificate authorities, providing a robust solution for certificate lifecycle management. Now let's look into different types of Key Vault secret types. First, let's look into cryptographic keys. Key vaults support multiple key types and algorithms and using hardware security modules for high value keys. The other type is secrets. And Key Vault provides secure storage of secrets such as passwords and database connection strings. The other type is certificates. Key Vault supports certificates which are built on top of keys and secrets and add an automated renewal feature as well. Finally, Azure Storage and Key Vault can manage the keys of an Azure Storage account. Internally, Key Vault can list keys with an Azure Storage account and regenerate the keys periodically. Before I take you to the Key Vault terminology, let me take you to the Azure portal first to show you how to access Azure Key Vault. On the Azure portal, on the global search box, type in Key Vaults. As you can see, I have a sample key, key Vault created already. Under settings is where you would be able to see the keys, certificates, secrets, and access policies. I have created different videos around how to create different keys and secrets on AZ104 and AZ500. Please do check that videos out. Now let's look into the different terminologies within Key Vault. First is Vault Owner. Vault owner identity that has full control over the vault. And this identity can grant other identities like consumer access to the vault. What is vault consumer? This is an identity that can perform actions on the assets inside the vault, such as permissions. Then we have managed identities. These are assigned identities for an Azure resource. This is the fastest way to access the vault from a service without sharing or exposing credentials. Service principal can provide certificate or secret, which is not recommended as it's difficult to rotate. Then we have Azure Active Directory. This is used for secure access to the key vault management plane. And finally, we have Azure Tenant ID. So the key vault is automatically tied to the default Azure Active Directory Tenant ID for the subscription. And all access policy entries are also tied to this tenant ID. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we are going to look into Azure Migrate Server Migration. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.